Hello. Welcome to Rad System Studio. My name is Tuzik. In today's episode of Ad Page Input Field Properties, we're going to learn how to configure Input Field Auto Complete Data Source. I'm currently working with an already existing project by name Input Project. On your left, under the Database Tables section, click on any table of your choice. This section has only one table which is Products, so I'm going to click on it. On the second column from your left, under the Table Pages section, select Add Page. On the third column which is Add Page Field column. As we can see, we have various fields under the selected table, Products. I'm going to maintain the name field and we are going to use this field for our tutorials today. On the fourth column which is Name. Field Properties, under the Control Properties, locate Auto Complete Data Source directly below the text box type. Before we can locate this property, we must make sure to set the text box type to text. If we set it to probably number or any other type, it's more likely we won't have the autocomplete data source property. Once we've set the text box type to text, let's publish our project and preview our project in the browser. Navigate to the table we selected initially, and then click on Add New Products button. Click on the Name field, by default, a dialog box drops down suggesting possible inputs from the browser depending on what we typed initially and as we can see the various inputs suggested does not correlate with some of our requirements. To customize this, let's drive back to Rad System Studio. We're going to click on the Name field, under the Control Properties, navigate to Auto Complete Data Source Property, click on the three dot button next to it. A dialog box pops up containing various fields such as Quick List, Enter Value, Data Table and Custom SQL but let's kindly start from Quick List. Click on the Quick List Input field, another dialog box drops down with various Quick List options. Select on any option of your choice. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to select Gender and as we can see, the values of Gender, Male and Female are given. Let's click OK, Publish and Preview our project in Browser. Refresh the page and click on the name field and as we can see the values assigned to gender, male and female are included in the suggestion field. Driving back to Rad System Studio. We can also choose names like country, day name, day number, marital status, year, zip code using the quick list input options depending on what we want. If we can also customize list value, click on enter value field. There are two columns namely value and label. Under the value column, I'm going to set a given value, let's say green bean. Red beans. Followed by blue beans. Click OK once done. Publish and preview our project in browser. Refresh the page and when we click on the name field, as we can see the default values we assigned are included in the suggestion field and that's cool. It becomes tricky and interesting when we want to pick autocomplete field from a table. Let's assume we want the names from our product table name field, which has information like liquid milk, chocolate, powdered milk, tomatoes and green apple to be part of the suggestion list for our new products using the autocomplete data source feature. Well, this is how we can do it. Let's roll back to our Rad System Studio. Click on Data Table. Various field sources are shown such as Table Name, Value Field, Label Field and Order By. On the Table Name, choose a table you want to pick your data source from. From my own end, I want to pick it from Products Table. Under the Value Field, select the field you want to work with from the table, I'm going to choose the Name field. Under the Label field, select the option you want to label the field with and we want to label our field name. We can also set the order by field source if we want. This field source is optional but I'm going to set it. We want to order it by their name and in the next field, click on the drop down arrow because we are also going to order it in ascending method. We can also choose descending method depending on what we want to work with. If we don't want a duplicated field, it's best we tick the distinct button directly below the order by. Once done, click OK, 
publish and preview our project in browser. Refresh the page and when we try inputting on the name field, as we can see it auto-completes with suggestions from the product table we saw earlier and that is awesome. What more can we do with auto-complete data source property? If we're conversant with custom SQL, we can also write our SQL statement under the custom SQL field. Notice the fact that the SQL statement we are seeing right now was automatically picked from the inputs we gave the data table field option. We can customize it to suit our preferences like selecting the count of the name or the value of another table or even combining two different tables. We can also query parameters. Once done, click OK, publish and preview our project in browser and refresh the page. Now we've learned how to configure and customize autocomplete data source property. In our next tutorial, we'll continue with other input field properties. Most importantly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more tutorial videos like this and don't forget to like, comment and share. Thank you.